Hey guys, hello there. How are you today? Every single one of you. I do see we have a lot of people here. We do have Avit123. Hello there. Uh, the Crafty Hood, welcome. And welcome, Commander Lights. How are you guys? I hope you're doing great, all of you. Hope everyone is having a fantastic and just a chill Sunday so far. Uh, we're back here at Fort Draco once again. I just see my color is a little off here. Hey there, the tracker. Welcome. Also, the tracker, thank you for the follow right there. I do appreciate that a lot. Um, it, it helps me out a lot when you guys leave follows and stuff. So, why don't we just get cracking, guys? There's already a couple of people on here, which is always a good thing. It's always fun. So, yeah. We're gonna work more on the Fort Rockwell here. It's been a couple of probably weeks since we uh, last worked here. Thank you, Scriptus. Thank you so much for the follow there. Hello Drugile, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, so last stream, which I can't really... Um... <laughs> yeah, we uh, that's what we're doing here. I, I do it for Draco if I have spare time. That's my spare project. So we have uh, Krasper, that's my number uno priority. Then we have the secondary series, which uh, right now is Chamar. Um, or Tornsburg, depending on what kind of series we're doing this week. Uh, and then we have the um, extra thing, which is Fort Rocco. So this is whenever I feel like I'm um, assured with most of my stuff, assured with, uh, um, yeah, most of the videos for the week, I know that I have time to, to work a little bit on here. So yes, it's been a while. Last time we worked on the bathhouse, which is here. And we're gonna work more on that today. It's just gonna be a small little chill stream here today um, So yeah, I think we're gonna work a little bit more on this so um, Yeah, we did this thing last time. Uh, I want to continue outside here And I want to work on this part right here, which is going to be more of these uh, Pools almost it's gonna be for hot springs I'm gonna build it into the mountain here um, Make it look pretty nice. I hope so um, I think what I want to do is to raise up first of all, uh, like um, this kind of thing here, which is follows the path as good as possible here, like that. I'm just gonna, I think it's gonna wrap around like that and then into the mountain here or the rock. Hello there, Sam Yuta, the panda. Thank you for the follow. What do you mean, Commander Lies? Um, I'm not sure if I understand what you mean, uh, Commander. Thank you, La Blue, for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I've seen the movie, yeah. But what do you... What do you I'm not sure if I understand what you're uh, aiming towards here. I'm not generally gonna ask. I, I don't know. I don't understand really what you're meaning. Uh, but yeah, I've seen the movie. It's been several years since I saw it. Hello there, the Milky Beard. Welcome to the stream. It's going great. How are you today? I hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, but actually, I'm gonna raise this up even more here. I think we're gonna raise it up even one more block. Oh, it's like a hot tub, like the. Uh, oh yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't think of that. Uh, hello, there, tangled wires. Hello. Hmm. Yeah, I think if we do that, because it's kind of elevated here, and then the the hot tub itself might just like be dug into the ground here. Um, something like this, and this is going to cover all of this. We might change some of it up for gardens and such as well, but uh, for now, let's just fill it in. Hello there, Crafty Hood. Uh, what's the IP? Let's just do this. There we go. No worries, man. Yep, 
it should be working it might actually not be working uh, let me know if it's not working guys and I'll have to fix that um, because we did some changes to it so maybe I don't know well, well yeah the I IP is just what I kind of said mc.darwinreforce.com yeah that should be good nothing to worry about then hello there the backyard my man how are you it's been a while now hope you're doing great So I'm imagining that this kind of uh, warm spring tub will be like an outside thing. So it's going to be mostly on, it's not going to be covered or anything. It's just going to be outside like a summer part of this or maybe even a winter part. Uh, you know, if it's a hot, hot spring, it might be warm even though it's winter time. So uh, we, we can do that. But I'm going to have actually to move it. I, I want to have several ones. And uh, not just one big one. So let's just fill in the floor or the pallet here. What are you currently building, man? Maybe I can help you. So, what if we do. Um... Tree one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So maybe one tub there, and then we might have a smaller one, like... Uh, actually, I'm going to offset it a little bit. It's going to be here. No. Because then it's blocking the entrance here. We could have it here. We could do like that, you know. Hello there, Eclipse on. It's really quiet, is it? Um, let me see how well it should be good, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I remember that one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think I can help you there, man. Only thing, uh, make a plan. Plan it out a little bit. Always help, help for me. <laughs> okay, so there we have two different... One of these. Um... And I want to do something cool with like the border here. Uh, actually, oh well, crap. Um, <laughs> Fort Rocco. I just forgot the title of the stream. Um, here we go. Eclipse Sean. Okay, sorry, man. Um, oh, yeah, in the same region as Crasper. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I can really like help you with anything particular there, backyard, but I can tell you or uh, make a plan of all the different professions you need if you haven't. Like, I always do that when I build stuff. I, I put up um, a, a big document. For Crasper, I have like three or four pages. Of just like, yeah, text saying what I should add. Like uh, all the professions I need, so that I know that I have every single profession. Hello, there's Samuel Panda. Samuel the Panda. Welcome to the stream. That's pretty cool. That works. Like that, and then here as well. And we can actually bring it back a little bit, or maybe I guess so. And then here as well, that's pretty nice. And, and then I want to just because I can mix it up a little bit here. So, is this? Okay, that's the one I already used, so we can mix this one in. And I don't know, maybe this one. Yeah, yeah let's give that a try. Um, same for here. A little bit of 
that. Always good with mixing in some different materials. Uh, I think I'm also gonna mix in the worm, worm one. Just a little bit, maybe along the bottom mostly. No problem there, man. No problem. Oh, that's cool, Commander Lies. Please, guys, if you didn't know, we did a big, big map on a live stream, not just recently. Um, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Hello there, Sorovsky. Um, Really would love to see what you guys, like the amazing stuff you guys can pull off. It would be amazing to see all of that. So if you uh, do anything epic, or just start building on it, I would love to see all of it. Because, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with how the map itself turned out. So we'd love to see what you guys can build on it. Mm. That makes sense. The backyard stuff like that is always good. But what about uh, like an inn, like a nice big inn for the sailors, maybe shaped as uh, a boat or something? That's something I really want to add in my port area of Crasburg, where we have like it's going to look a little bit like oh hello tree. Oh, really? <laughs> it's gonna look a little bit like um, like the bottom of a ship kind of used as a roof thing. Hello there, Captain Vietnam, real one. Uh, I did have a lot of issues joining Darwin earlier today. There might be an issue, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, and then the bottom should be covered in some nice tiles, I think. What about... Okay, we have Indian mosaic. And we have the, this one. I would love if these um, did like a cool pattern. That would be just really cool. Hello to Lindelas. Um, yeah, a nice big inn is always epic, you know? We can do something like that. And then we can have... If there is one... Like a decorative block in the middle. I'm thinking more blue. Um, let's see what we got here. We have the lazuli block, but I'm not really sure about that one. We could give it a try. That's actually not too bad. Probably, yeah. I'm doing great, Lindelas. Thank you. I'm the only one you see is faked. <laughs> what do you mean, Captain? Captain Man? Um, we do that. And what I want to do is actually let's uh, let's cheat this in a way. Uh, we do this. And then we mark that, and then that, and then replace 35 with 9.4, I think. Let's give that a try. Uh, if it's working, please. Hello? Hello? There we go. Just so it's kind of an edge here. Just like that, the crafty hood. Just like that. You just gotta use world it to get the layers of water. Yeah. Oh, beautiful Widder and that sounds awesome. Um, yeah, something like that. Whoops, lazy. Also, guys, please keep it English in the chat, even though I know some of you are Norwegian and that you know that I am. Uh, it's just easier for everyone, and maybe people can help you in chat if everyone is using English. Um, just as a small tip there. Yeah, it, it might be easier for uh, for you to get help if everyone is speaking the same same language here. Let's do. Oh, that's a nice one in the middle there. I want to try something here. So what if we do this here, like that? Then it's only going to be water in the middle. But we actually okay. 
which is used in Then we got that. <laughs> that was English, yeah. No problem. Uh, no problem, man, you know? It's all fun. But it, it might just be easier for you because other people can help you. That's pretty chill. And it looks like it's all covered in water. It just gets this more circular thing. That's cool. Okay, yeah. No problem. <laughs> um, I want to see how it would look if I then connect this up to like the landscape here. So I'm gonna... Maybe something like this here. And then same goes... Oh, let's do it here. And bring it into the landscape. And then... We can then kind of... I, I really like... The idea of Port Rocco is that it's nice and lush and just like a paradise almost. For the people living here, not for the slaves. There is a big slave camp right here. So um, there's slaves working for these people, but the people living here is just like a paradise. There's a lot of palms, trees, uh, bushes, flowers. And I also want to like nature is going to be a big part of how it looks here. So as you can see, we're bringing nature into the the hot tubs almost into the um, to the warm springs here so that is uh, yeah a big part of how uh, I really want uh, Port Rocco to look because as you can see like all of the flowers and trees and bushes and all of it just makes this whole area feel nice, feels uh, like a good place to be in a way, um, like all of this here, I love it, so that's the whole main idea for this place, just to play around with a lot of different foliage and bushes and landscaping and things like that, and so far I think we're doing a decent job. one here we can work with a little bit of layering on something like that cool man have fun. Uh, and then let's bring in some, some nice flowers. Look, flower. actually, I'm gonna. I like to put these bushes and stuff. This is a nice tip for you guys. If, if you're building with layers and stuff like this, if you take. Yeah, let's just take a random one. Let's take this one here. If I place that there, that's gonna be floating. But what you can do is to place this one inside, and it just kind of looks like. Okay, well, I was... Let's say I do this then. Now it just looks like it's a smaller bush. Um, well, that's just a tip here from, from me to you. It's all free, guys. Uh, place these in the layering here. This makes it so much easier. Um, what do you mean, um, Crafty Hood? If you're having issues with the Conquest Reforged mod, uh, I would just go to the Discord for Conquest Reforged and ask for help there. They're very helpful and probably knows everything much better than anyone here does. Uh, you could try that. Uh, yeah, bring us a problem. We might be able to help you right here. Lamp here, climb a little bit. That's always fun, doing some climbers. Like that.
something like that. It's pretty, looking pretty sweet. We might add a few trees here as well. Because why not? Hello, who's this? Bitter blue? <laughs> I really want to get finished with this project here though, it's been, a, it's been a very long one, it's been something we've been working on for quite a couple, it's almost, it's over half a year now, so it would be really good to finish this. Because it's really not a big pro a project, you know, it's all of this here, um, and then there's just some farms in the front here, and that is basically all of it, so I really wish that we can finish it quite soon. Uh, I want to add a palm tree. Maybe there. And bring it up and then... How did I do this? Okay, yes. I have this small style I like to go for. Uh, just to begin with the palm trees. Something like that. Maybe just fill up with some flowers here. Um, like this. Like this. Hello, Mr. Phone. Alright, so hello there Captain Vietnam. That would be awesome. But you can kind of build them though. What I think is important to realize is that um, default Minecraft is not going, and I really hope it doesn't turn out to be a pre-made game, which means you don't have to build anything. I really hope that Mojang or Microsoft, whoever is in charge now, doesn't make a game that is beautiful from the start. Uh, I heard a long podcast. If you haven't seen the chunk, the spawn chunks, it's a podcast about Minecraft where they talk about the game basically and all of that. And they had this thing where they, uh, uh, we talked about we don't want a world that is an, a completed picture. You want a canvas which you can work with. Um, so if Minecraft spawned like this, if this was the villages in Minecraft, if this was the trees and this tower here or castle here was something you would find in normal Minecraft, you, would, you didn't have to build anything. Everything was built for you. And I think it's important to realize that because often we think, oh, maybe like Minecraft is super bad. The, the spawning is just awful. Um, I can build much better than Mojang. You know, all of those things we say. Uh, but I think it's important to realize that if Mojang did everything for us, um, hello there, Vila, 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 I say it wrong, Vialaku, there we go. <laughs> um, if Mojang did everything for us, we wouldn't have to play the game. You understand, guys? So I think it's important to realize that we can't expect Mojang to just build everything for us. I think it's important for Minecraft as a game to to have the ability to actually create something for yourself. Um, yeah. Just a small palm tree. <laughs> yeah, they added a lot of stuff. And that is nice things. Because it don't change how the game works. I I'm kind of... I love playing Minecraft, even survival and stuff. And I think it's super important that we don't... We don't ruin how the game works. Uh, we could have more blocks, we could have more of that, but don't change the looks. Don't make vanilla villages spawn like this, because that would just take away everything. As I said, the game would be pre-played, uh, and uh, you, didn't, you didn't have to do anything, you know? I hope that makes sense, at least to a, a degree. <laughs> I'm going to remove the marking here as well. This is supposed to be like bombs, 
of um, like uh, shampoo and balm and stuff like that. I think Hytale is going to wake Minecraft up, but what I hope is that Minecraft doesn't want to become like Hytale. I hope Minecraft evolves in its own way, um, because Hytale is already there, and I think Hytale, by the looks of it, hello to Lucky Loser, my man. Uh, I, I I think Hytale would win the race, honestly, even though it's a small thing, but they had different goals than Mojang has. So I really hope that Mike or Mojang doesn't try to replicate Hytale. I think we could have more structures, we could have more stuff, but don't make it look perfect from the start. So um, that's kind of my opinion on it. Of course, we can all disagree to disagree here, but my opinion is that Mojang shouldn't make Minecraft um, beautiful. They should keep it clean. They should uh, uh, keep it good and keep it so that we as Minecrafters can come on, whether it's in creative or survival or anything, just come on, play the game and be the creators of our world and not play in an already set world. Uh, and I think that's what made Minecraft the thing it already is. Uh, and if we try to change that, I think we're going to ruin the game for most people. I hope you guys understand me. Um, or maybe we could have like options, like roleplay world where everything is spawning complete for you, like an adventure, proper adventure mode, uh, but still, you know. This place is taking shape already. I also want to have some blankets and such, um, or yeah. they could dry themselves on well honestly if you think survival gets boring too soon you're playing it wrong sorry to to break it to you but if you're if you think minecraft survival is getting boring very quickly you're playing it wrong um, I've been playing on my survival world even though I don't make videos there I play on it and I've been playing on that world for two years and I'm still enjoying it and that is single player. It's all about how you play the game and how you cease to uh, to make your world advance. But uh, I think there's um, um, yeah, I agree with you there, uh, Eclipse Sean. Um, can I add a room where it has God of Riches and whatever closes in your law. Um, I'm not sure if I understand you there. Please clarify. You might have a great idea on you. I think. Uh, let's talk about survival, guys. I, I really want to get back into some survival videos. I have a long survival series, and I think the reason why some people get bored of Minecraft is because they start the game. They mine for diamonds, they find 10 diamonds, get some diamond gear, kill the dragon, and they, they think they're done now. They think they've done everything. But the way I think you should play Minecraft, if you want to enjoy it, uh, is that you um, you should start off, you should set up farms. And not just a wheat farm. It's not a wheat farm. A wheat farm, you, you make machines. You make them do the thing for you. You get villagers to collect it. You make villager trading system. Um, if that makes sense you do like you build much more than you have to uh, because it's fun you add you make automatic farms drop zones um, farming the ender dragon you know everything um, you have a good deal of oh that makes sense crafty hood uh, a god of wealth we don't have a god of wealth. No, we don't. Um, these are the gods we have in this religion here. We have the hunter, Micah. We have Urakis, the god of death. We have Ruar, which is the god of battles and war. Uh, 
Epona, the god of fertility, and I can't remember the god of wisdom. We don't have one for uh, wealth and stuff like that. Hello to Grammel, my man, how are you? Uh, but we do have uh, a little bit of, uh, let me see here. We do have a little bit of uh, a vault down here in the cellar's basement. Go through here. Here we have the vault where all of this is in. All the riches. Uh, the Fort Rocco people are pretty, pretty uh, uh, wealthy. Let me see here. I'm doing great, Crammel. I had a chilly weekend, yeah. Both, uh, both chilly as in cold and chilly as in relaxing. <laughs> I had it all this weekend here. Hope you're doing great yourself. And also about, yeah, survival stuff. Building and survival is something different. The way you have to grind for the stuff. Uh, that's what I like. Putting on some videos and just dig for hours. Watch a series maybe, watch like Game of Thrones and then just dig for hours. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And I think a lot of people don't understand or embrace the possibilities of creative or survival Minecraft. Where you can just play for so long. Um, and just expand. Do like big, big farms, big bases. Uh, you know, the possibilities is endless kind of. But a lot of people keep it way too simple and that's why I think a lot of people get bored of Minecraft. And that's what I mean when I say, if you get bored you're playing it wrong. It's not that you're not good in Minecraft or anything, it's just that you don't really use the, or play it as much as you can I guess. And build some more purpose, yeah. I love playing survival, I might wanna... Would you guys like to for me to continue my survival series, Vigo's World? Which uh, has, I think I have almost 40 episodes in it. Let me check that. 37 episodes right now. Of my survival world which has been going on for... Can I open this and don't put play? Yes. You see the first one here? Whoops. Um, the... Yeah. Hey, thank you Grammel. Thank you so much for the subscription there. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Um, it's over two years old. Uh, Vigo's World is over two years old. So I've been there a long time. And I really want to get into some survival. Uh, because I just enjoy it. But I know a lot of you guys don't. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, I have... Uh, I, I want to finish up a couple of projects before I start anything new right now, so... But uh, in the future we might continue there. We'll have to see. Maybe squeeze in another episode, weekly episode or something. That's kinda nice. I am using the Sue Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders uh, Renewed right now. Which is a lovely shaders. Oh, what we gotta have here is steam. And now we're probably going to break it, right? Yes. Oh crap. Okay, let me let's just fill in the steam here. Do that um, here as well. We're gonna break it if we start placing anything. Yeah, I. I Actually, I don't really care. Uh, I just use the one I've been using for a while. But yeah. Um, oh wow, a lot of happening in chat. Uh, yes, 
So if you start, uh, like the survival aspect of just killing zombies and, and, and getting a couple of diamonds is alright, it's fun a little bit, but it's um, it definitely uh, gets boring after a while. And that is why I think building in, uh, in Minecraft, just getting big quantities and stuff, like right now I think I have three stacks of diamonds or something, you know, way more than I would probably ever need, but it's just for fun. Uh, getting stacks of iron. I think I have two double chests of iron right now in my survival world. And all of that is just... I don't know, it's just so much more fun. Getting iron farms up and running. And, um, you know, it makes just brings so much more fun to the world, I think. Um, is... Choca, Choca picks ones better for... Uh, performance I guess so Zeus is pretty heavy right now and I'm also running some extra overlays for the resource pack uh, I'll see if I can show you uh, is there any blocks that has let me see if there's any blocks that has um, this one maybe no, um... there is like depth in them I don't know can I show you that? Let me see if I can find somewhere I can show you. There is a dot or point mapping or dot mapping, I'm not sure what it's called. Where the shaders depending where you're kind of standing. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried either Chuka Pigs and Silders. So uh, yeah, but like for performance, I don't really care. My computer can handle most of it, but it will be fun just to see what looks the best. I have a couple of shaders already here. Let's see. Kuda and Conquest of the Sun, Trill Thumbs. Yeah. Maybe we could try some. See what you guys think. Let's try with Conquest of the Sun. Oh wow, that's a completely different thing right there. It, it seems much more, uh, much more of contrast. It feels more fake, though. I feel like it's, it feels more fake, and the depth kind of disappeared a little bit. Uh, let's try some of the other ones. Oops, we can change the language. Shaders. Try Kuda. That was a little harder to equip, I guess. Maybe. probably is the sun is hard all right I'll, I will see if I can I will try to maybe get that uh, in between the streams here maybe who knows uh, hello there well uh, I'm new to building a minecraft and I'm a new it's very helpful to watch other people that is one of my tips hello there Kuda can I please get you I think we just froze a little bit uh, this has a very brightness to it um it feels almost washed out in a way. The red is very red, but then the buildings look almost washed out. It feels like there's just fog on everything. It's a layer of fog. Can I? I'm not gonna deal with that right now. And then we have Trilton. Trilton is a friend of mine, and he creates a little bit of shadow packs. So let's see how this one looks. The Zeus Gang. <laughs> Zeus Gang Gang. So let's see if we can get this one on. Conquers of the Sun is good. I, I played on that earlier today while I was on my laptop, because I can handle that. I can't handle Zeus on my laptop. So that is why I, I like to, um, there we go. Here again, I think the contrast is a little too high. It's just kind of painful to look at. But it's beautiful. And it doesn't really work with my 4K monitor. It feels a little corny on my, uh, probably good for you on the stream. But for me, it seems 
very corny in a way. Uh, yeah. Let's get back to suits. Yeah, you're probably right there, Gravel. 4K monitor, what is wrong with that, Commander Light? That's just fun. All fun and games, you know? Nothing to be mad about. Uh, maybe not everyone is playing chess. Maybe someone is just enjoying a drink. Why not? Like that. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I feel like I should add some more just to, uh, um, but let me just read here a little bit. I don't know who that is to Crafty Hood. I don't watch TV too much. Um, uh, there's so much stuff happening in the chat right now. Uh, Suze Renewed, you can reduce the brightness in the options. Brightness? No, not here. Oh. Atmosphere? No, gone. Advanced? No. Well, here maybe? I don't care. I like how it is right now. I like this one. I, I prefer it this way. For now. But I feel like we should add some more. To give it a nice more uh, vibe here, like a better vibe, um, and we can try. Let's add just a couple of more flowers, because why not? Um, we can add. I like these. We go here again with another little bit of a thing here. That doesn't work, but we can do this. And then you get this nice one. Is kind of cool. And also, I think this one here has. I'm not sure how that. No. Black. Can't place it on that one, but I can. Hmm. Alright. But we can always use these ones. Can I place you there? Of course not. Um, when for building, I can't, I can't build without shaders. Really, I do it sometimes, as I said, when I'm on my laptop because it's a laptop. You can't really expect it to run everything. But uh, vanilla, it's pretty chill playing without. All right, I think we're good here. What we might want to do though is. Just bring some more life to this mountain here. Some more like that, maybe. Some more bushes up here. Maybe we can also slabify it a little bit. Something like that. I, you can turn off the clouds though, so that's not a problem, I think. Yeah, that's pretty chill right there. Let's do that. Add a little bit of this one right here. <laughs> well, who plays on console? Honestly, I, for me, I, I just couldn't stand um, playing on on console. I've tried and I can't bear it. Um, if you had stream 
What do you mean, uh, crap dude? I am streaming. I'm streaming right now. Maybe if I streamed another day, you might have. Don't don't feel like you have to sub to me, guys. Uh, only sub if your income allows it, and that if you really enjoy what I'm doing here. Don't don't uh, feel like you have to sub to me, guys. Um, I don't want this to be like something you feel forced to. Uh, but if that being said, if you enjoy my content, uh, I really do appreciate some help because you know it takes a lot of time to make videos. If I some yes, okay, that's no problem, man. Uh, it takes a lot of time and effort uh, to make both streams and videos, and I try to do it as often as possible for you guys. But um, you know, life and stuff. So I really do appreciate some monetary help and stuff if you feel like you can. I don't want anyone to be like feel like they're forced to or like they don't really have but yeah. Oh here it's it's empty. Let's just fill it up with stuff. <laughs> uh, but if you feel like you can and wanna please it, it just helps me out. So yeah. Oh yeah no I, I play Minecraft and console. Minecraft and console, I just don't understand. Um, console in general is not a problem. I've been playing a lot of games. Uh, Skate, the Skate franchise is probably the game I've used or played the most after Minecraft. I have hair, yes! Justify, of course I have. What do you think? You think I'm a bald oldie? I'm barely 20, dude. Can't be bald already. Skate 3 is the game. Uh, Minecraft is definitely the game I've been playing the most, but Skate 3 is like, I've been playing some serious hours of, of that. Yeah, Skate was lit. I, I'm like, almost like a pro on it. I, I'm, uh, for those who don't know, I'm a real life skater, so, or uh, 20 kilos ago, 20 kilos ago, I was, uh, oh, hello, I was a real skater, <laughs> now I'm just a hobby skater. Um, and um, and I, I like to to make tricks the realistic in skate three. So I, I feel like I'm I'm a pretty good skate three player actually. I, I well that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, I didn't really enjoy the Tony Hawk's game because it was too unrealistic for me as a real skate or real life skater. It doesn't feel right to be able to do a backflip on flat ground. So I didn't really enjoy that. But I understand that people like it because it's definitely a good game. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, well I still do some skating and uh, whenever there's some nice weather I go try to hit a couple of spots, jump some stairs and stuff, but uh, it's getting less and less frequent right now, but uh, yeah, it's just fun. Um, you also need to skate crumb, man, we have more in common than we do believe. We were, uh, yeah, we have a lot in common, man. Um, I really want to have a flower here, so I guess we got to do the cheaty way. Let's do the cheaty way. I've heard of Session, I really want to see if I can get it, but I don't have a controller for my um, for my PC, but that, like as I've said, I've been playing a lot of skating games, or I've been playing Skate a lot, not a lot of different skating games, but the Skate franchise I've been playing a lot. Um, so it would be fun to do some skating again. I think it's, uh, it looks like it's a super hard game to play, because it's not like, you, you, you control the individual legs and stuff. Yeah, snowboarding and skateboarding is like my childhood. Um, well, it still is, but I, I'm just getting too busy to do it a lot of times. So, uh, I, whenever I have time and you're able to hit the mountains, I do. Um, because I, I love the snowboarding and stuff. And whenever the weather is nice in Norway and uh, I'm free and stuff. I like to um, to go skating and stuff. 
I have controller for um, for my PlayStation, but I'm not PC, so that is why I can't play uh, Session because that's only a PC game, I think. Um. Yeah, I wish with 48 hours, man, I would be able to do so much of that stuff. Snowboarding is a lot of fun, guys, if you haven't tried it. I really recommend trying it, but do it with someone that does know how to do the, the snowboard thing. Because it's not like... A lot of my brother is trying to learn snowboarding right now. Um, if I can place my normal PlayStation 3 controller into the PC... And it would work. Okay. Hmm. I didn't know that. I think I thought you had to have like a specific hardware to do that. Maybe not. No, I've never been to Hockton, so no, I haven't. Uh, but I've been. Yeah, I've been not been skating too many different places. Yes, I prop maybe <laughs> maybe it's skate tree stream. <laughs> that would be fun. I bet all of you guys would love that. I the, the fun thing is that if I do streams or play games that you guys don't like, it, I just get zero views. <laughs> it, it's crazy. If I do a, like um, a specific kind of video, it's just like nope, I'm not gonna watch, <laughs> and I get um, uh, forty views instead of a thousand, which is kind of weird. Uh, hello there, Tiger Red. Um. Okay, yeah, so you can use that, okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool though. I would love to be able to play some other games. Uh, that's something I've been thinking about, guys. Uh, I'm not really sure how to proceed and what I should do. Uh, I'm just trying to add some more details around here as we go. Uh, I really want to see if I can get into different games, guys. Uh, I'm not moving away from Minecraft. Um, <laughs> good one, Gravel. Uh, have you got stocks in the slave area? I'm not sure. What do you mean? Um, but I've been wanting to play other games. And not go away from this, but I would like to expand to more games if I'm able to. Oh, man, yeah, we got to do the back side here. That's not gonna be fun. That's gonna be proper boring, I think. I'm not sure how to do this. It's kind of built into the mountain, so it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I would love to expand with some more games. Um, and not, I'm not going away from this thing, but just play uh, more different games because to reach more people but I, sti I still don't want to lose focus on what I like doing you know yeah so Minecraft is the thing uh, for me as well and I would never like stop playing the game but I would love to just test out a few games with you guys to play I think we might have fun because I'm not playing any other games on myself I play some Fortnite with uh, couple of friends or any like um, battle royale games just for fun but I'm not like playing on my own but it would be fun if we could do some hello there arch it would be fun if we could do some other games together in a way kind of forcing me to play other games because I think there's a lot I've been missing since I've been since I've not done any games other games in Minecraft Um, yeah, they're uh, mocking me for saying I played Fortnite. <laughs> um. Oh, what is that? Hello there, Greg Russell, for the subscription on YouTube. I'm not sure if uh, you're here. I'm not sure if you're on the stream or if you just randomly subscribed on YouTube. That might be the case. Anyway, thank you so much if you're here or if you're not.
Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is the Darwin report. You can just do this. And there we got the server IP. Yeah. All right. Um, this could be, I'm not sure what to put here. And I think I'm just gonna like cover this like that. And then we'll use this. Uh, yeah, there is a uh, Darwin report is implemented into the launcher, so it's really simple to find it. versus high elves um, yeah I did a showcase on that justify if you didn't see that on my youtube channel there is a video on red rangers castle if it's the same one uh, I like wood elves by the way if that's a question for me so I, I like the wood elves thank you radcraft for the follow I really do appreciate that thank you so much a uh, here maybe? Just uh, like I'm not sure what to put here. So I think uh, I'm just gonna fill it up with firewood, which we would use to then burn this fire here to warm the water which flows into the pool here. This here, it's neither, it's my own style, but it's definitely uh, based on Roman and um, Mediterranean. We can put some tools in there as well. Just like what you need to kind of uh, make this pool here function. Uh, and then we have the upstairs where uh, I'm not sure what we should have here. Do you guys have any suggestions what we can put uh, up here? I'm thinking just tables, just for fun, you know. These people are living in heaven. They're living in probably one of the best places to live in Amirea, which is the world we're building in. Um, they have nice trees, bushes, um, gardens, anything like that. So, um, yeah, commandalized probably. Uh, they have just beautiful area and I really want to get that feeling that people so people that visit this place understand that these people they um, they have a lot of money a lot of money and they spend a lot of money on building this beautiful thing and then they have slaves working for them right here hello phone I'm not gonna read you right now oh that's good to hear be a lot good. <laughs> the rock slide. That would be kind of terrifying if there's. That's like if I were to try to take over Fort Rocco, which is a place right here. Cool, uh, Crafty Hood. Uh, uh, if I were to try to attack this, I would lure a couple of people up here. And try to break loose a bit of the mountain and just let the mountain just crumble down and just break this whole town. And you can put like big ones, rock slides all over this place and really take this down. But apart from that, it's pretty safe because it's so steep here that you wouldn't be able to take your army down. You know, a lot of people say that it's bad because in a valley, but if you bring an army up this mountain here, it's just super steep. Uh, it would take you forever to pay, make the army go up here and then make the army go down these steep cliffs which probably wouldn't happen uh, or you would have to like uh, almost have like one and one guy go down here 
So you have no match to uh, to to kill them, like from a defensive purpose. Um, so I think it's pretty safe. And then we also have like the keep itself, the palace in us in the top of this. So um, if you would have to get here, you would have to get through the town, walk over here, and then we have this drawbridge. And if you try to get here, they would just open the drawbridge from the gatehouse over here. And then we will fall down, preferably land with either leg on either side here, and then just get split in half. That's the whole idea here. Just get split in half and then just splatter. Oh yeah, I'm not messing with them. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. So I think... I'm thinking only like just hangout areas. What do you guys think up here? Uh, maybe we should make some walls and stuff. Thank you, Genova, for the follow. I really do appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Sorry, I don't have news. Not too many of them. <laughs> So, um, yeah. Gate? Okay, no. Um, I don't know. Maybe let's just keep it open like that. It's not a big problem, you know? We can keep. It's nice and warm here. It's in the south. It's not an issue. Um, we can keep it open. Maybe have just like a curtain to um, cover it. Like that, we're gonna do the same over here. Where I am, I'm just building. I'm on <laughs> my uh, Fort Rockwell place. I haven't left anywhere. So if we then do a gate like that, and like that, you could die with at least life streaming. Man, uh, your stats are running wild here. Where is Pergodla's Pog? Pog. Um, it's just like a. Uh, like a. Uh, Yasibu almost. We got an overhanging garden. Uh, maybe. Maybe we could have that here under these ones. But I don't want to have too much happening. Or uh, maybe, maybe we could do like a small thing here in the middle section. Like a wooden garden. Yeah, well, we can try that. Um, let's see. Have some signs here. We can do something like this over there. Hello, do I like to get dragged? Thank you, man. It's been a while actually since I cut it, but uh, yeah, it's fresh. It's nice and fresh. How are you, man? Hope you're doing great. Hope you've had a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend and just relaxing today guys if you haven't check out uh, i like to get wrecked uh, another great conquest reforged streamer so if you don't think i'm able to put out enough stuff here check out the man check out i like to get wrecked he's building a massive town called haven um or uh, i keep forgetting it's called something haven it's uh, Pog Haven. There we go. Um, he's building this massive town. Just yeah, you should check it out. There beside me. Hello there, Crafty Hood. So check him out, guys, if you haven't. 
Uh, Clive Haven, yeah. Still on. Let's bring that up here again. From there. There we go, and then there we go. Oh, that's good, man. It's family time. It's quality time. Don't, don't, don't lose that. Don't forget that. It, it's so important. I've just been spending the weekend with my family as well, and it's precious time. How do you get to build? Well, you can't build here. That would be horrible if everyone was able to build. But if you want to build, you have to go to a plot. And go warp plot. Um, and then you can see if we can find somewhere to build. It's meme review time! <laughs> um, yeah. Clap, clap. Oh, I should definitely do that with my building review series. <laughs> Build review and then start the review. <laughs> That's a nice pun, guys. Anyone up? Anyone up? <laughs> Build review. Then I should not, I should do that. I should really really try to remember that for the next one. Um Grammo, aren't we trying to record the next one together? Please. <laughs> I think that's the plan. Uh, if we could try to do that, that would be awesome if we uh, remember that, man. As long as we manage to, to make it work. I really also for the, um, the building tips series that I'm running right now. Place you the other way, will you then? Okay, this way. There we go. Um, I really want to try to put some more uh, humor and jokes into the building tips series. So um, I will see if I can uh, do that as well. I, I, I love those kind of internal jokes, so uh, hopefully, I can be, uh, try to get some more of that in for uh, a lot of stuff. What is this music right here? <laughs> That's so scary. Um, is that what you guys, guys were thinking about? Like a garden like that? Oh, that's really cool, actually. Um, too bulky? No, I, I think it's good. I like that. Just adds a lot. Maybe even one of them has like grown all the way down. Um, there is one. There is one block I like to mix in here. Oh yeah, the Witcher Tree soundtrack is beautiful. Where are you? Here? This one? Is that the one we're talking about? I can't see you. Or... Yeah, that is not a chimney. That's not a chimney, man. <laughs> Look down here, there's, there's no fireplace. It's just a detail. It's just a little detail. Just a little detail. Nothing to worry about. Maybe 
like that somehow like just giving it a little bit more organic shape there yeah dude, stuff like that just makes it feel like this place is really really alive and that is very important to me as a builder trying to create something that would make you as a watcher or just a visitor feel like this place really is lived in see you arch thank you so much for jumping in and tuning in hanging out with us uh, but yeah stuff like this is so important to me trying to make it look like hello tree how are you um, to make it look like people um, or make it look like yeah there's actually some people living here and that is what I can do here adding the cards and things just a lot of stuff super important if you want to do an immersive build but yes, uh, let's get back to the business. Um, I think if we go up here, all of this is going to be like community thing. So you would walk up here and then you can also use this top part right here. Um, the pergola, is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah, spam villagers. Um, but yeah, uh, this thing is going to be open for everyone. Um, that's a good idea, man. Um, or maybe just do it like a double one. The problem is it's... Actually, it doesn't make sense that we have one there. We can do an item frame like that and then do a barrier block we don't have that where is that then barrier but now it's just too big almost but I think um, the, the reason why it's standing here is that I wanted to um, to look like someone is really dragging it uh, and sometimes just gotta imagine the people so I think I'm gonna leave it like that just gotta imagine that there's people actually pulling that one so the pergola should be open for everyone I think but then in here these doors are for like the guy running this business area I'm, I'm not sure if I want to call it the business I think the people living here is it's all like uh, free real estate it's all like free for people to just hop on and for, unless you're a slave of course but if you're um, a working man here you can do everything uh, no I'm just using normal vanilla good old-fashioned vanilla um. <laughs> layers is beautiful but it's also your enemy um, yeah I've been uh, this weekend as I've said I've been at my parents place um, and I've been bringing my laptop, but I haven't been able to stream or anything, but I've been um, doing layering Fun stuff. So um, when my parents, you know, they're, they're getting older, so they don't they go to sleep quite early um, So whenever they were asleep or went to sleep, I was booting up my laptop and um, Placing some layers Don't have to see the slaves, yeah. That's why they're all uh, in enclosed in in this here, so you can't really see them. Uh, wooden thicker screen wall. You mean here, like you bring it out so you would look at them? I think that doesn't make sense because you don't want to look at the slaves. You just kind of want to hide them away. Even though you would be able to see, look at them from here, you know, you could look over. But I don't think we're gonna have an extension like that. I really wanna, uh, really wanna, really just make the contrast from here. Look how lovely this is. Like this, beautiful. And uh, going around getting nice tan and stuff like that also they don't see them we could do that perhaps and then in here is just horrible it's just brown 
ugly mud uh, and stuff like that. I really want to capture that. The contrast from Port Rocco and the slave camp. Maybe we should put up something here to block it. I don't know. I'm not sure how good that would look. Something like that. It just doesn't look good to me in a way. It makes sense, but it, it's just ugly. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this in here. Just gonna add a lot of nice small details in here. Oh, we gotta do something with the ceiling here as well. If you make the pergola or the whole deck, we could block them by plants. Um, still, um, maybe we can grow a tree up here to block it a little bit. Let's do that. Let's grow a big tree just to block it a little bit. But I, I just. The wall we put up here was ugly, uh, so um, yeah, uh, I'm not going to sell the slaves here, Crafty Hood, um, just because we use the slaves, we don't farm them. But in Tornsbury, we, we're going to build um, a slave trading center. A cypress tree would work, yeah. Let's combine red and. A quartz, or whatever it's called, marble. So uh, let's do a nice vaulted ceiling here. Let's try that. Should be like that and that. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's just put it up one more then. Just gotta go there. One, two, three. Here we go. Yes, they can escape. They can also climb up here. And go over the top here um, the, of course slaves can escape they can escape it's just like that but you wouldn't escape okay uh, you wouldn't be able to get out of here people are always watching you have guards here that are watching uh, and then they wouldn't be able to get through the gate here simply so yeah they could escape but um, it wouldn't be easy so I'm just gonna keep it like that it's not like uh, I don't want to have uh, too much defense just for for the slaves. Oh, that's how does that work? Kind of. They would need a lot of MD. They wouldn't be they're slaves. They wouldn't be able to to run away from you. You know. They wouldn't be able to climb that climb and also there's guards always watching you so yeah that works chillaxing time take <laughs> quick hold back yeah just uh sorry guards i'm just gonna i'm just gonna wash myself i'm kind of tempted to let the, the slaves have a little bit of rights so that they're actually allowed to walk around, but I'm not sure. Maybe that will be. Uh, maybe just keep them in here, make it even more. Um, we have Commander Lies here as usual. Uh, make it even more 
bad, horrible, horrid, no way. Um, I don't know. Something like that. And then... Sherm is always hiding, guys. <laughs> He's always hiding away somewhere in here. Okay, uh, here I'm thinking a small meeting room. So I think... Like that. Maybe have proper chairs. If you crouch, do you disappear on... Hello. I know where you are. It's not that a good place. Um... Let's put a nice little tree up here. Like that. And maybe put up something like that. Do the same kind of roof here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you could have hide and seek. I do believe that's like a proper mini game on like high pixel or anything like that, where you uh, play hide and seek. like that and then we'll have I'm thinking chandelier but let's see how big oh how big that would be compared to the rest now nah, that works and then maybe some paperwork here you know and of course something to drink like that very simple and then Maybe the office, or maybe, guys, um, oh, I just need to change my position a little bit. Should this guy be living here? Because we can definitely give him, like, uh, an apartment here, kind of, where he lives. The guy running this thing. There will be one guy which is in charge for, uh, for all of this. I, I didn't see it man um, but um, yeah we, we, we can do an apartment here where the guy kind of lives um, if we want that or if we just want to do an office we can do that and just pretend that he lives somewhere else but I don't know I don't know whoopsie daisy Did I do? Yeah, 
okay? There we go. You guys don't answer. Please answer me. I'm in need of some good help here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can add some tables and such around here. Um, hide and seek and clips it. Yeah, that would be cool. Hello there, Swizzer, Sir, Mr. Avery. Welcome, man. It's been a while. How are you? Hope you're doing great. Let's add some. The back leading into the mountain. I don't want to do anything more into the mountain here. Uh, sewer system? Nah, not here. We're going to do that in Krasberg, I think. But not in Fort Rocco. I don't really want to go into the mountains anymore. I just want to finish off this like building, like it is right now. But I'm not sure what to put right here. Yeah, the weekend is also over. I'm off tomorrow though. I don't have either work or school or anything tomorrow, which is fun. That's really good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Seba. But I, I wonder, should he live there? Or just have an office. I'm thinking maybe we could uh, have a bed uh, and we can have. Yeah, we can have. Uh, have a bed there. We can have a li little bit of. A um, uh, little bit of. This kitchen stuff. Um, yes, Genova. Well, I go to university, which is kind of like a school thing. I guess that's kind of school. <laughs> Hello there, uh, I'm Petrek. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing great. So uh, it looks like um, we are doing. I think we're doing um, a, 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 oh, an apartment for him. So we can do that. We can uh, just add some simple dividers, you know? It's not anything worse than that it's super simple we can do this you know we can divide it up have a kitchen here sleeping quarters here how's this one isn't that just moss no it's not good that's no good we can do that maybe his family lives here you know And maybe his children sleep in a bunk bed because that's very space efficient. The other red bed. Is there any other red beds here? We can do the fancy one though. That could work. Right next to the straw one. Oh, this one. Yeah, let's give it a try. I've never used that because I don't like it. Let's, let's put it in here. Why not? Let's give it a try. We can do something like that. Maybe they have table here there we go and then painting of the Lord and then we need uh, some um, 
wardrobe stuff. Does this one connect? No, perfect. How did this guy get through here? <laughs> Whoops. Um. Something like that, and then we can have a simple kitchen right here, you know. Maybe even bring a fireplace or chimney up here. Like that, it's not too bad. Uh, just for the depth of it, we can do this. It's gonna create a little bit more depth, you know. Oh man, Grandma! Sorry, man, I didn't see that you were leaving. Goodbye, goodbye, and good night. If you haven't left yet. What's wrong with the roof? Ain't nothing wrong with the roof. Let's do that and then we'll have a small just sitting area right there to eat on. Like that. Your teddy? Do you have a teddy? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> um, yeah, let's add some light in here. That somehow, that's not too bad. Down in the basement. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Are you streaming, Wrecked? If you're still here, or are you going to later? If so, we can uh, host you and raid you and all that stuff. I'm not gonna continue for way too much longer, guys. Um, it's late. I'm getting a little bit tired. Thank you, Ginger Dinges, for uh, for the follow there. All right, uh, Rekt. So if if you're streaming when I'm uh, done we're gonna put you guys over there if you want to but guys again if you haven't check out check out the dude here check out uh, wrecked and follow him later today if you want some more content man i'm having trouble getting through here Here. Thank you for the follow, Captain Vietnam. <laughs> no problem. No problem. It's easy to forget. Yeah, I think that works for today. Really sweet, this place here. I like it. Um, 
yeah guys i'm not sure which is there anything else yeah a cypress tree a big tree right here let's uh see if we have any yeah we can use this one here so if we do a big one here it's gonna block a little bit of the view here from up here Just DeFi, welcome. Come over here, hang out with us. By the way, guys, this is on a server, so if you wanna hang out with us and stuff, you can do that. And just mixing it up a little bit with some random blocks that definitely helps for the view here into the, the slave camp but you can still see some but honestly I don't really care too much about that in fact so let's just uh, yeah ignore that you can do it something like that And then let's see what's more to do here because I think I'm gonna end it quite soon now guys uh, It's getting kind of late here. So um, So this is on this really yeah, what we did today with adding this top here uh, Also, yeah, something we need to fix fix this so we're going to just kind of um, Fix the final things here and we'll Yeah, I'll let you guys go but it really what we did today really just ties this building into the rest here so that is always good i was a little bit skeptical on the way it looked in the in the beginning didn't really fit too much with what we had let's try this one so i'm very glad that we managed to do it uh, yeah like we did here like that and then the same here oh it's so dark in here we need to, fi to fix this down here but yeah um thank you for the follow it's hui welcome to the stream how are you this here and just like that I don't want to do anything too fancy here I might add a little bit of some interior things here though Can do like that you know and then and then like that just getting some light in here and then maybe a small carpet on the floor because why not I guess that works it's super simple so we might have to add some paintings and stuff just to make it look good maybe also just some minor stuff that I've learned to just utilize a little bit just to give it a little bit of extra a little extra oomph to it kind of weird with the same painting on either side here just for something like that we can also put in a chest here maybe also a table here but perhaps 
like a little bit of a flower on top. There we go, perfect. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna have to end it here now. Uh, it was a little bit shorter than usual, but uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you guys uh, found today's stream nice and relaxing. I'm so glad for everyone that tuned in. Very glad for just ha being able to hang out with you guys when I'm doing some building here. So thank you so much every single one of you for uh, tuning in. Have a great Sunday and I will see you on Tuesday with another Shamar episode. So if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, make sure to do that. I think this should be the correct one. So if you haven't checked me out on YouTube, check that out. We're going to hang out there, do some building, do some uh, more stuff on Tuesday when we build in Shamar. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I can't even speak. It's getting way too late. I will see all of you later.